Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Prophetic Solutions team and I am Sanjay. So in this video session we will discuss that how can we register our custom JavaScript code to WordPress pages. As you know guys this is our 12th part of this video session and if you are a beginner from this video session then I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video session to make clear concept about WordPress plugin development from scratch. Okay. So in this video we wanna go to and add some our custom JavaScript code to our WordPress page. So if you have remembered our last video session then in last video session we have actually registered our dynamic pages as well as we have deleted that page in case of deactivation hook as well as uninstalled hook. Okay. So to achieve the this video task that is adding custom javascript code to page we actually use function like wp localize script okay so this is the function name which we gonna use in this video session to learn how we register our custom javascript code to wordpress pages so this is the function which basically takes the parameter as handle object name and it's the optional parameter okay guys so basically you have to remember the parameters as handle first parameter is handle what it actually indicates the handle parameter is nothing but it actually takes the name of that file or a script code in which you are going to bind this value okay is basically it tells by which script tag you are going to attach this code and second one is app object name as you can see this is object name and this is object value so in second parameter you have to pass the object name and in the third parameter you have to pass the values of this object okay so step by step we will see the use of wp localized script to register our custom javascript code to wordpress pages okay so guys if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel then i strongly recommend you to watch my our videos from our youtube channel and also you can subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos updates our wordpress customization techniques in easy steps as well as you can like us on twitter and uh, this is our blog in which we will post our word means youtube videos which you can actually see from here by clicking and this is the documentation section and the video okay so now let move to our code so to use wp localize script we need actually the first parameter should be the handle okay means attached to second one is object main Okay, and the third value is objects value objects okay objects value okay. so first one is attached to so to use wp localize script actually we have to write this function within wp encrypts methods in which we have register our styles as well as JavaScript code. So here we have to use WP localize script. WP localize script. Let me copy of the function name. Just copy of that. Paste it here. Okay. And the first parameter should be handle name. So this is the handle name, guys. Actually, I tell you this is the function. Let me explain after making the use of this function just paste it here object name should be like uh, online web tutor and its value something like if we pass this values be scroll down to bottom And you can find it takes an array value okay so just make an array object array and store some value in that something like name like perfect 
solutions author subject more now we have to pass this array value to its third parameter so wp localized script actually register this object as our custom javascript code to the page which is basically attached with the cpl script id of this script type okay guys so let me put semicolon in the last and let me run that control us to save and just refresh this page so move to our front end control u to get source code and let me search for the key of something like online web tutor control copy and find here so you cannot see let me check that okay so let me check in the plugin list okay guys actually we haven't activated our plugin so first activate this plugin okay and just refresh this page and find for online yeah you can see this is online web tutor is object and it takes actually it is stored two values first name and the second is author so this is the code actually guys we are talking about how you can register your custom javascript code in wp wordpress pages okay so this is the object value and uh, if according to your use you can use this value in your code by so this is localized script function actually uses wp handle and the handle should be cpl script if you want to search like a script js then you can see script.js is here you can see and uh, okay, let me change the js folder just refresh this so this is script.js guys and this code actually attached with this handle let me select both of these then you can see this code is actually attached with this handle okay so if you suppose if i change the handle should be cpl style control paste then this code actually goes from this point to the cpl style.css where is it here and it goes at the top section of this means it comes up in this section let me refresh that then you can see if you find online web tutor okay okay guys actually we have passed the style handle so it does not work for now suppose i want to means another handle register in script another script registration suppose script 2 okay and it actually cpl script 2 and uh, it basically implemented at the footer section just copy script 2.js and uh, let me refresh that so if you find script 2 and here is the code okay guys script 2.js so if we you pass cpl script 2 as a handle for this wp localized script control s to save then you can find that your online web tutor is code registered here which is attached with script 2.js not with script.js you can see the code has gone completely from here because you have changed actually the handle for this localized script so according to your handle according to your handle means with which script it actually attach it takes first argument okay guys so if we change the value as cpl script to here then it 
comes here now just refresh this so this is script code which is attached with script js because we have changed the handle name so wp localize script function guys it basically takes three parameters first handle name handle is the thing handle is the id of the script tag by which you want to attach this code and the second parameter should be the object name object name okay it's object name and the third parameter should be the value of object and one more function guys i want to discuss in this video session about admin url admin url okay guys this function returns the admin ajax.php because from our next video session we are going to learn about the javascript means ajax request handlers from our files means how we request a javascript handler how we control the request from server when a javascript code hit to it okay so by the help of this path means admin ajax.php we gonna use our ajax handler to handle our request so admin url is a function which basically gives the global path of admin ajax.php in which from where every ajax request passed through it okay so basically if i write something like this ajax url and admin url and something like admin ajax Okay. so if we go to the documentation section of admin url then it takes a string path and it returns the url of the admin area of the current site okay guys by the help of this path we actually request our java javascript handlers to handle all requests coming from javascript so admin url okay guys so just leave it blank for now and refresh this page then you can see this is the WP admin section and it returns the URL of admin section if you go to the admin section then this is the URL of the administrator panel so it returns the admin URL and if you pass the parameter as admin ajax admin ajax control us to save and just refresh this page then it gives the ajax path okay guys and this actually handles all the requests of ajax handlers when we make any requests from our javascript code to the server so basically this url is actually used to handle ajax request so from our next video session we will learn that how can we put our ajax request in wordpress pages to our handle our requests okay so in this video session we have seen how we actually registered our custom javascript code and as well as we have seen admin url and one more thing guys i want to discuss in this video session also that apart from this technique apart from this technique how will you register the custom javascript code beyond this solution so to do that make a function like my js code something like that just close this bracket just write code here like a script script okay and something like some type of text javascript okay and here is the code that we are going to write something like alert hello online with tutor control us to save and by the help of action group we are going to attach this function something at suppose wp head wp head is the action hook which actually basically register this function up to closing of h tag okay control s to save just refresh this page 
then you can see we have registered our code here which is just above the closing bracket or closing tag of hate tag and this is the code that we have written okay guys so by the help of this method custom script code okay so by the help of two techniques first one is wp localized script and the second one is script by the help of action hook we have we actually use our custom javascript code to wp wordpress pages so in that condition if you want to make our object like online web tutor just copy up that paste it here and it takes the value suppose something like this admin url just use values into php echo admin url and something like admin ajax dot php control s to save and just refresh this page you can see this is our object name and this object value so by the help of these techniques we actually register our custom javascript code to wordpress pages so guys in this video session i have explained each and every section of these functions according to admin url so in this video session if you have any doubt any query any suggestions for us or any type of resources you want from us to learn more and more in customization of wordpress techniques then feel free to ask and also if you refer to our youtube channel then you find lots of video sessions that we have made so far for you any type of customization you want in wordpress just feel free to ask and do come in the chat box i will reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day